Good Saturday morning, guys. You're listening to Exit Strategies. I am your host, Colin J. Millett, broker and owner of Exit Realty Low Country Group in Utah, North Charleston, South Carolina, guys. Hey, look, I'm not in the studio alone. I got my brother from another mother here, the infamous Rob Wilson Jr. in the house. But before I introduce Rob and get them um, action words out this morning, look here, I just want to say this to you. If this is your first time listening to Exit Strategies, guys, first of all, you're in for a treat. But number two, our show, our mission here is very simple, guys. That's to empower, again, to empower our community, the African-American community, through financial literacy and real estate education. We're legacy building over here, guys. That's our hashtag, legacy building. That is what we do. That is what you what we want to help you to achieve. Guys, you can find us on social media, Facebook page, Exit Strategies Radio. You can find us on SoundCloud, guys. Go there. Look us up, Exit Strategies Radio. Please subscribe, follow us there. That way you can get all the latest content as we upload new content, guys. Um, we are still working on a couple other venues to make sure we get this information disseminated. But if you pull it up on SoundCloud, guys, please do a favor and invite some friends and share the information and the content. We love what we do here. We love getting information out to our consumers, to our community, to our people. And in turn, we want to make sure that you guys are finding that information useful and helpful as you endeavor for greater things. My brother for another mother, Rob, how are you this morning? I'm well. We have a lot going on today and we have a lot to talk about today. Today is actually going to be a very, very good show. Um, and if you're with us in person today, it's going to be um, we're going to have some very good events as well. Yes, yes, yes. So first, before I get too far into really um, anything, I want to give a shout out. Um, you know, the, the ladies um, talking credit over tea um, is going on, uh, went on this morning. Matter of fact, it's still going on now um, at our office. If you missed that event, you can just give a call um, to our office. You can um, contact 843-619-3005. Um, or better yet, you can reach out to Lenny Venning. Um, Lenny hosted that event in our office. Um, Lenny is one of our agents. Lenny Venning, you can reach her at 843-557-4469. Again, 843-557-4469. She hosted the Ladies Talking Credit. This is a ladies only event over tea. Imagine mm -hmm. that. All right. Well, Rob, look, we got a dynamic show today, man. We you, we, we had this conversation, you know, coming to the station about, you know, kind of, um, you know, what we've been encountering. And it, and it really fits with what our core mission here is, um, which is, you know, focusing people on their legacy and things of that nature. Um, and that's, that's kind of what I took from our conversation, our dialogue. But you said something that was profound this morning, this on the way to way here in the car. So if you don't mind, drop that on the listeners today. All right. So you know, um, we always talk about legacy building and making you know um, good financial decisions, and we we speak to a lot of people who are experienced as well as inexperienced, first time home buyers and things of that nature. Well, one thing I thought about that um, I wanted to really touch on today were those of you who are secretly investing or unbeknownst to you you're investing if you're a homeowner you're sitting on an investment so a lot of times you have the opportunity to reposition yourself and really make a huge change in your life when you already own a home especially if you've owned a home for a number of years say 10 15 or even 20 years there's a lot of options out there that are available to you that you might not even realize and that's what i wanted to touch on today so for those of you who may be you know, 5, 10, 15 years into a house, you've been paying your mortgage, you have kept the house in great condition <laughs> or are willing to do what is necessary to get it there, this one is definitely for you. Um, and even if you aren't a homeowner, this is something you need to think about that may motivate you to get there yourself one day. Now, that whole unbeknownst thing is what kind of threw me when we were talking. And I, and I had to take a moment of, moment of pause and, and, and reflection and think about it so 
in this setting or, or in this conversation, you know, guys, we always talk about when you, you know you're looking to purchase a home, if you own a home, that it is an investment. You know, we I've always shared with people, you know, in my years of, of, of doing this business, you know, the fact that you know home ownership is more than just and then in just the um just the house. It's it's more yeah. than it's more than just okay where you lay your head. It's it's more than that. Because it means a lot of things to a lot of a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. So for some people, it is you know stability. Yes. You know. So when I when I talk when I spoke about or speak about this stuff, you know, like when we're doing home buyer workshops and things of that nature, you know, one thing I always talk about in there is that the stability. You know, you stabilize your living situation when you when you own. Oftentimes, more so than when you're renting. Renters tend to be more transient move from place to place and oftentimes they're moving because of increases in rent, um, rental costs and things of that nature. Sometimes they're moving, you know, because they're in an area they, they just don't want to live in anymore for whatever reason. Home ownership tends to stabilize a person in that fashion. But then the next thing is predictability. Because right. now, if you're a homeowner, you have a fixed housing cost. Ah. Okay. You see? True. See? Yeah. So, so, so so I ain't gotta worry about that. Hey, we hope you resign your lease next year. Yeah. And then and then and then you open it, right? Yeah. yeah. And you, you see that well, what, seventy-five dollars more, right? <laughs> <laughs> Stop apartment jumping. I look like fleas out here, apartment <laughs> jumping. <I> used, <laughs> it used to be me. So I know. Yeah, then you try to get that movement special, you chasing movement specials. <laughs> what y'all got? <laughs> 50% off the first one, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so look, we're having too much fun this morning. But, but that's a very valid point. That's a very, very, very valid point. Because oftentimes that's what happens. So now we talk about, excuse me, stability and predictability. Now that, you, that those are two components there. But the reality is on the back end, which is what you were saying about the unbeknownst part, the reality is that when you set yourself in this particular fashion, Sometimes you can find yourself in a, in a better position. And so like for a prime example, and I'm, I'm going to use this real quick, but then defer back because, you know, you, you, you got the, the, the meat of this matter today. But I, people that bought homes over the last few years have experienced, for the most part, in, in some instances, a, a gradual or a slight increase in the value of the property from when, they, from when they bought it. Now, if you bought a house three, four years ago, more than likely, more than likely in our in our current market, guys, you may have experienced this or may be experiencing this. The reality is this, very, very simple. The reality is very simple. If, if you have not capitalized on an equity in the house, it's just merely on paper, meaning it doesn't mean anything until you either sold the property or otherwise refinance and cash it out. But there's a significant amount of people that are in an equity position now where they weren't some years ago right. from previous market as well as from you know the recent increase or change in the market that occurred back in 2013 14 time to 12 13 and 14 as the market kind of stood itself back up um here locally those people now have an opportunity rob to do what reposition so what do you want to do is the question so you, you've heard that you've heard equity position one of the first things that you need to do is contact us, 843-619-3005. Hey, can I speak to Robert or Corwin? And I'm going to say, how may I help you? And you're going to say, you know, I heard the radio show and I've been thinking about possibly selling my house. I wonder what I can get for it. And I will do what's called a CMA, Comparative Market Analysis. When I do the market analysis, I will, I will pull current market data for your neighborhood, for your home style and your home size, and I can give you an estimate of what your home would sell for in current market. You can compare that to your last mortgage statement, and that kind of gives you a, a good idea. I also We also have a secret tool that we use called a net sheet, where we factor in things like commissions and taxes and things of that nature, so you can get a more realistic view of what your bottom line number will be. And most of the time, I'll probably say 95% of the time when we do that and give it to people, they, oh, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like yeah. they're, they're like, mm -hmm. wait, is that? And I'm like, yeah, that's everything already taken out. And they're very surprised. And you can see that hope and that joy 
fill them again because now they know, okay, this is going to give me a boost. I can I can go and buy this bigger and better house and I can pay off X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. So I can be in a be bigger, better house <laughs> and have less overall debt. You know, one thing you, know, you, you that brings me to brings me back to something I've said a, a long time ago, um, and I think I've said it in this show. But the reality is, guys, that you know, home ownership is is now being leveraged differently. I, you know, previous generations, I probably would say my parents' generation, um, and maybe even and definitely generations before that. But in that but but home ownership in, in those previous generations, guys, goes back. And it's very fundamental. And it's, it's, it's mindset, and, mindset and, and concept of you buy a home and you stay there forever. That's kind of how, how it was. Mm -hmm. Now, as a people, now we just seem to be more transient. We move around a little bit more. And this is because we're chasing job opportunities, business opportunities. You know, we're, we're relocating because we don't want to retire where we may have worked. You know, that kind of thing. I mean, you think about people that, you know, bought homes or may have been born up north. They're tired of the harsh winters. Um, maybe they live, maybe you live in an, in an area that, you know, that I, I don't know, maybe it's, it's, it's just a, a, a rough climate, things of that nature. When you retire, you don't want to be there anymore. So people tend to move around a little bit more. Yep. And statistics show that typically every five to six, seven years, somebody relocates, they reposition. Obviously, you know, that's on average. That's not, you know, consistent. But on average, that's how often they relocate. When you're doing that, if you bought, now you have an opportunity. Imagine military. So that's something we'll pick oh, back yeah. up. But, yo, we just got the signal for the break. Guys, you listen to Exit Strategies. We'll be right back. You know, for real estate agents, there's not much financial security. When the only income streams are taking listings and making sales, agents tend to live paycheck to paycheck, spending their commission in advance and rarely saving for the future. You're only as good as your last transaction, and when you stop selling, your income stops flowing. But all over the U.S. and Canada, real estate professionals have discovered an additional revenue stream that fills in the gaps between closings and gives them a financial future that has never existed in real estate before. This new revenue stream is called sponsoring, and it's made possible by Exit Realty. Through sponsoring, agents earn residual income by introducing other agents to the Exit system. It's not a multi-level scheme. It's a proven single-level system that works a lot like it does in the music and insurance industries. You do the work once and get paid over and over again. For example, Mary is an agent with Exit Realty, and John is an agent with another brokerage. Mary thinks that John would enjoy working at Exit Realty too, so she introduces him to her broker and he is hired. At Exit Realty, he will immediately start on a 70-30 commission split. That's 70% to him. As a reward, Mary will instantly receive a residual bonus paid by Exit Realty Corp International every time John closes a deal as an Exit Realty agent. Mary's bonus is the equivalent of 10% of John's gross commissions. And Mary's bonus doesn't affect John at all because it isn't paid from his 70%. So if John is producing $50,000 a year, that's a realistic annual income. That's an additional $5,000 every year in Mary's pocket. That $5,000 quickly grows to a much higher number when you start multiplying it. If Mary sponsored, say, 10 people into exit, all producing $50,000 a year, that's an extra $50,000 a year on top of her own commissions. Now imagine Mary's bank balance if John earned $75,000 or $100,000 a year. It sure adds up. By the way, when John's commission hits $100,000, his commission increases from 70% to 90%. The money is flowing everywhere. The great thing about sponsoring with Exit Realty is that when Mary decides to retire or take a break from real estate, her 10% residuals automatically turn into 7% retirement benefits. Finally, a real estate company that cares about your retirement. For as long as the agents that Mary sponsored continue working at Exit Realty and are closing deals, Mary will continue receiving the equivalent of 7% of their gross commissions. Plus, when you join Exit Realty, you designate someone special as your beneficiary. Then should anything happen to you, all of your sponsoring residuals instantly turn into the equivalent of 5% beneficiary benefits so your loved ones are taken care of. Exit Realty agents get a piece of the action from the 10% sponsoring residuals and true peace of mind from the 7% retirement benefits and 5% beneficiary benefits. 
So just imagine, you sponsored 10 people into Exit Realty, each earning $100,000 a year. That's $1 million in your bank account in 10 years. Could you do anything with that? What are the chances of you having $1 million in your bank account doing what you're presently doing? And with Exit, you can be confident knowing that you're backed by a top award-winning brand with world-class training and digital marketing tools. A company that's dedicated to helping you and the agents you sponsor achieve success. Exit Realty is the formula that works. You owe it to yourself and your family to take a closer look. Guys, and we're back. Guys, you listen to Exit Strategies. I'm your host, Colin J. Millett, broken owner of Exit Realty Low Country Group in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina. Hey, look here. If this is your first time listening to the show, first of all, you need to make sure you follow us on Facebook. Go back, catch some of these episodes. This one here, we were just having a blast in the first session. But our mission here, guys, very simple to educate, empower our community through financial literacy and real estate education. I got my brother from another mother, the infamous Rob Wilson Jr. here. So Rob, before the break, man, we were talking, wasn't talking about fleas, um, I, <laughs> actually, but we were talking about um, this whole um, you know thing about being an investor, unbeknownst if you're a homeowner mm-hmm. or becoming. So talking about you know the, the equity position that people may have. And you started off, saying that this was not it's sometimes in this opportunity sometimes for people to reposition you right. know so average consumer five to seven years average moves relocate we're moving for jobs all that kind of stuff but let's talk briefly about where the opportunity really really is in that you know i, I mean I, I remember i had a had a, a client some years ago that had bought a house i forgot how long they stayed there but you know, they 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 stayed there for maybe a few years. I mean, it wasn't even five years. They stayed in the home, and they sold it, and they had a you know a very very good equity position on it, um, and and you know just kind of you know roundabout you know percentage percentage wise, um, I think that when they sold it, they they probably cashed out at least twenty five or 30 percent of the original purchase of the property mm-hmm. as equity. Now. They, they cashed that out and they did there's some things they did with it. Okay. One, they were able to go to another property. Okay. All right. So there was a move up. And this is kind of what happens, guys, sometimes, you know, that we that we, we miss out on. And I'm, I'm going to come back on this one, Rob. But I'm going to share this stop and then I'm going to come back on something else a little bit later, you know, after you jump in on this. But they were able to do that. But they also paid off debt. They had a vehicle. Um, I forgot what was owed on it, but it was a substantial amount. It wasn't, you know, a, a few thousand. It was a few ten, few tens of thousand dollars. Okay. So they paid that vehicle off. They paid off all credit card debt, all that kind of stuff. They wiped all their debt clean, as well as cashed out and had money to go to the next property. Where, where you get to do that at? And and I know what some people are probably thinking. Well, you bought a new house, your mortgage is going to be a little bit higher or maybe different. But if I pay off debt in the process, I'm eliminating a credit card payment. I'm eliminating a car payment, personal loan, like that stuff. If you take those little debts, that can be three, four, five hundred dollars a month. If I'm going to be spending that on something, I'd rather be putting it into a home or putting it into my bank account. <laughs> You know what? Wow. Wow. You're right. And, <laughs> and it's you're, less, you're less stressed. You're less stressed. Like how many of you would love to know that the only bills you get every month are your mortgage, light bill, cable, Netflix, Hulu, mm-hmm, and that's mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cry when my car payment stops coming in. I <laughs> <laughs> put it on the milk carton. Have you seen me? Don't want it back either. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but you know what? That is a ve- that's a very valid conversation, guys. Because you know what? Because and it's it's so it's so easy, it's so easy, you know, for you guys to find yourself, you know, find yourself in that in that position. It happens, you know. Life happens. You get busy. You put your head down. You stop being zealous about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The people and it's, it's very interesting, and I, I'm, I'm starting to, to you know, as as my eyes open to some other things, I'm starting to pay more attention to this kind of stuff. And we have to be a zealot for those things that that we want. 
you know, I, you know, I've been, you know, sharing some, sharing some, some stuff back and forth with some people and, and, and long short, someone just asked me a question. Do you have faith to believe in, in that what you ask for and that you'll receive or you'll get what's it, what's your heart's desire. Mm-hmm. And we keep having this conversation guys about debt, but you know what? We, here's, here's something, here's something, here's something, here's something, here's something. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> here's something. We believe him. We believe him to get the house. We believe him to get the car. We don't ask him when it's time for us to go out there and spend our money on that credit card. We don't ask him. Mm. We don't ask him. So we believe mm. and ask for the house, for the car. We believe and ask for the job. And and we, you know what we do. We pray, God, you're going to make a way. That's what we do. That's exactly what we do. You're going to make a way. And he does. Yep. Lord, woo, he does. He does. But the reality is, is that when you start talking about this day, just like you prayed, for all these things and make a way, pray. How about pray for the removal of the debt? And then, and and if he and if he tells you to pick up the phone and call us, if he does, I don't. He might not, because if this may not be the way. But if he does, then you know what? That's maybe that's what you need to do. And maybe just maybe. And this is you know sometimes you preach into the choir, and sometimes the preacher preach to themselves in the pulpit. But with that being said, sometimes guys, you got to look at it and say, okay, look. Where's my line? Am I and this is where I'm not gonna go beyond. If this what if this comes to it, then this is maybe what I need to do. But I was talking to someone recently, and, and matter of fact, we've had this happen recently a, a few times where people have said, Okay, you know what? If I do this, I can eliminate all of this. Yep. Everything else has been stressing me, worrying me. Yep. Just I can do this one thing and eliminate all of it. Yeah. Why, and why wouldn't you do it? That's profound. Yeah, one thing and get rid of all of it. It's like a, it's like starting all over, starting fresh. You know, sometimes you you look, man. I wish I never would have opened this account. I wish I never would have bought that. You actually have a chance to reset that. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? And and the reality is, guys, and it just just a plain conversation. And look, if you out there listening to this right now, tell somebody else to tune in. If they if they miss it, you guys catch it on SoundCloud in, in, in the future, catch it on Facebook or something, um, because this is a real conversation. You know, we're having fun with it here because the reality is, is that, you know, something. Look, how many times have you woken up or thought of something in the middle of something, whatever it is you're doing? And all of a sudden you just kind of had this epiphany and it just kind of dawned on you. Wait a minute. Why in the world? Wait, why? What? Did, why did I? This is and, and the fact of the matter is you can't go back and undo it. Right. You definitely can't do that. But however, you can work on it from that point forward to fix it or to improve it. This is one of those situations, guys, yep. where you can look at that. So for those of you who don't own your home yet, no worries. We want to get you in this mindset and thought process now because things happen. So when we get you into this mindset and thought process now, you're looking at it from a step. Because because this is what I was going to say earlier, Rob. How many times have we talked to people and they want the end all be all house. They want the four bedroom, five five bath, or four and a half bath, swimming pool, jacuzzi, and all this stuff. And, and make twenty eight thousand a year. And make twenty exactly. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, real quick, on top of that, real quick, they live in a two bedroom apartment right now. Why you got to jump to that? Why you can't do entry level and move up? Exactly, guys. We just got the signal for the break. You're listening to Exit Strategies. We'll be right back. And we're back. You're listening to Exit Strategies, guys. I'm your host, Cole J. Millette. Got my brother from another the infamous Rob Wilson Jr. in the house. Rob, look, we've had an action-packed, content-filled, hilarious show, man. But look here, I don't, I'll be remiss. We got to get to these announcements. So let's get that in before we close out. Okay, I'm a little slack today, y'all. But today, 308 Deep River Road, that is in beautiful Cane Bay. I'm having an open house event. Well, we're having an open house event um, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Make sure you join us for that. Also, on Sunday, 9120 Maple Grove Drive, that is in Westcott, we'll be having another open house from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And our next real estate class starts September 18th and will be ending October 25th. And we hope to see you all there. Don't forget that you can register online. Where can they register online at, Corwin? LowCountryRealEstateSchool.com. Again, LowCountryRealEstateSchool.com. We have online classes as well. Click the online button. 
Get a free trial, guys, on your pre-licensing class for five days. You can try it out before you pay for it to make sure that you like it. All right. Where else can you do that at, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Take advantage <laughs> of that. What we just talking about stepping up and doing th- doing what you need to do. So if you or someone you know has an interest in real estate, send them to us. Guys, as always, guys, we are definitely hiring. We're looking for talent uh, for the right people for our company, for our environment. If you, if this is you, I want to talk to you. Give me a call. I'm going to do it again. Rob, 843-364-3095. I want to hear from you. Heard from somebody this past weekend. Thank you so much for reaching out. Um, actually hired a new agent from it. Wow. Got to love it. So look here. We're excited. We're looking to build. We're looking to grow and want you to be a part of it. Rob, you got any other announcements for us? That is all. I just want to give another shout out to uh, Lenny Benning and her credit chat and tea that she hosted today at our office. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, Exit Strategies is our brainchild, guys. It is how we give back to our community. If you're a church, if you're a family, family reunion, just remember our rule. If you just send us the menu, guys, for the, if you're going to invite us to the family reunion to talk to your family about how to put this legacy piece in place. We just want to know what we we just want to know what the plate gonna be before it come by. That's all. Kind of joking, kind of not. But reality is, guys, this is our brainchild. It's how we give back to our community and how we endeavor to help other people. God gave us a work. He gave us a work. This work involves more. Pastor Evans, Vanderbilt, Apostle Vanderbilt Evans said to me, Corbin, you gotta do more. And here's my more. I'm gonna dedicate myself to helping more people realize their dreams if this is you if i can help please give me a call been a wonderful show rob thank you so much sir you guys make it a phenomenal week you've been listening to exit strategies